Hello, welcome back to another Neotech Spotlight. Today we're going to go over the simple machines. This includes the furnace and the crusher. Uh, at the moment, these are the only machines we have. So, well, besides a couple other. But we'll get to those in a later video. So this is your simple ore processing. The electric furnace and the crusher work just as you would expect any electric furnace and crusher to work. Here's the recipe for this. Uses some copper, which we provide a origin for. There's some redstone and furnaces, very simple. And the crusher uses tin, flint, piston, and some redstone. So fairly cheap, easy to get your hands on early on. Now these guys do take uh, redstone flux. And you can see in here, the energy usage is 20 RF per tick. And the process time is 200 ticks. The furnace has a little description here, and then it goes into the upgrades. Um, I'm not going to cover how to do upgrades now, but I'm going to show you a little bit about how they work. Uh, if you want to read about all of this, the processor moves 24 ticks, so with 8 processors you get fairly close to a very fast furnace. And I'll demonstrate that here in a moment. Hard drive makes the battery here bigger. Control gives you redstone control and expansion gives you access to automatic I.O. features. And as you can see here, I have a motherboard with all of those things. But when you first put it down in the world, this is what it looks like. Let's give it some power. As you can see here, it's charging up. And it's ready to go. So, we're going to get some cobblestone. Why not? And we're going to smelt it. So, as you would expect, it's a furnace. It smelts stuff. I don't know what else to say about that. It's fairly simple. As you can see here, it makes stone. All right, so let's see what happens when we upgrade this guy. I'm going to click this into here. If you don't know where he just went, it's in this tab. You can shift click him into there, but here he is. Uh, you can take him out, put him back in. As you can see, it changes his energy buffer. So of course, he's gonna have to fill up again. That's fine. Here we have redstone control. If you want it to be, you have to have a high signal to run, a low signal to run or disabled. And here we have the fancy IO configure. You use your right click to move the little guy around. Uh, wheel click, oops, wheel click will orient it back to the way you opened it. As you can see, similar to open blocks, uh, whatever position you open it in is whatever position you'll be viewing it in on the tab, just like that. So, in order to change the mode, you can see we have a little bit of text here. We have blue for input, orange for output, and green for both. So if we were to say blue on that side, it would pull in, it would push out, and it would do both. So let's go ahead and set this guy to green and let's put down a chest just to see what happens here. That's not what I wanted. So now if I put some cobblestone in here, up, oh, where'd it go? It's in here. And as you can see, a fully upgraded furnace works pretty quick. And the automatic I.O. happens every second or so, so it'll try to keep up with it. All right, now let's say, uh, we wanted to start setting up some automatic ore processing. Oh, and as you can see, the stone is ending up in this guy over here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Get you out of there. Get you out of there. Going to get rid of that. Now, let's say we want to do some simple ore processing. Of course, uh, we want to go to the crusher first. So we're going to stick you there. And let's go ahead and upgrade him. Um, he works just the same as the furnace, same amount of time. Uh, the only difference is the expansion upgrade will give it the chance for a secondary output. And if you want to see those, you can go to the usage of any ore. Uh, and you can see here we have JEI support for these things. And here's the main output, and here's your secondary output. There's a 20% chance that a redstone ore will give you an extra redstone. Um, for the sake of ease, I'm just going to stick some copper in this guy, so don't have to worry about the secondary output. So let's get me some copper. Should be over here somewhere. There he is. Now, I want to give him an upgrade so that I can tell him uh, automatically output to your left. And his left here, as you can see, is this guy. And just to show you, these do render on the block. So if I come over here, there that is. If I change it to orange, uh, whatever you set it to will show up on the outside of the block. So you can't see it here because obviously it's touching that guy, but there is a orange side that would be rendered there. All right, so now we got these guys going. Uh, he's still charging up. These are very big buffers now, so they're gonna take quite a while to charge up. 
Now, he's going to be accepting in from the left. Uh, he automatically outputs, so I shouldn't need to set him to input. And let's set him to output to the chest. So you can see here we have a chest. And just for fun, let's take another chest here and tell him to import from there. So he's importing from the right, outputting on the left. He will go ahead, just for fun, set to import from the right. Oh, don't want that. And export to the left. So now if I stick any ores in here, they get stuck in the crusher. Crusher crushes them up get stuck in the furnace, furnace cooks them up, and end up in a chest. And just like that we have a very compact and simple ore processing system. And that's just about all there is to the crusher and furnace. They're very simple, they're about what you would expect, and they pretty much do that. Uh, any up-to-date information will show up here. As you can see now, it takes it 160 RF per tick to be run, which is significantly more than 20, and it takes 8 ticks to process, which is about a little under half of a second because a second is 20 ticks and so it's a little under half and that's as fast as you can get these guys using the upgrade system without them of course it takes 200 ticks which is the default for a vanilla um, so there you go get yourself some RF power these guys up we'll get into the RF generation in the next video and that's the basic machines